Die Princeton University ist eine der angesehensten Universitäten der Welt. Die 1746 gegründete Elite-Uni, an der Albert Einstein lehrte, brachte 42 Nobelpreisträger hervor. Nur 8000 Studenten haben das Privileg, in Princeton zu studieren. Shirley Tilgman war die erste weibliche Präsidentin der Princeton University. 13 Jahre lang saß sie im Board of Directors bei Googles Mutterfirma Alphabet. Ohm traf sie in ihrem Büro an der Universität, an der Amazon-Gründer Jeff Bezos ebenso studierte wie Michelle Obama. I think there was about six months where there were a number of the older alumni, and remember Princeton was all male until the early 1970s, um, who questioned uh, how, how rapid change seemed to be happening at Princeton. But after that, I think people just put it aside and I just became the 19th president. So I think um, the situation for women in science when I began, and that would have been in the early 1970s, you know, there were just very few of us. And so um, we felt we were pioneers and we were pioneers. And I think actually that pioneer spirit was an advantage. Um, it helped, I think, some of us overcome sort of overt and covert discrimination that we encountered. I think there's been tremendous progress, but I will also say the progress, I think, is stalling. And I think it's a, it's a very important question for all of us about why after basically a couple of decades of increased participation of women, we're now seeing very little progress. Education at Princeton is, is designed around having students and faculty in relatively small rooms in conversation with one another. If you had to sort of put in one sentence what uh, characterizes our educational strategy or philosophy, it is close work between faculty and students. I learned a tremendous amount by uh, sitting on the Google and then Alphabet board. Um, I learned how, in some respects, the organizations are very similar in the sense that it's all about the talent. You know, at Princeton, the most important thing we do is attract the very best faculty and the very best student body, and then the magic happens. And actually, the same thing is true at Google. The most important goal of that company, and I saw it year in and year out, was attracting the very best engineers and then giving them a fair amount of freedom to invent. So, so there were lots of similarities. The differences were truly profound. Um, universities are like large cruise ships. They, they turn very slowly. They deliberate very carefully. At Google, we were making multi-billion dollar decisions within a few days, and it would be inconceivable. So I learned how, in fact, to, to make decisions and move things a little more quickly than would have happened um, had I not had that extraordinary experience of being on that board. I used to describe myself as Princeton's greatest cheerleader, but also its greatest critic. Because on the one hand, you have to tell the story, on the other hand, you can't fall victim to the story. In other words, you can't see the university through rose-covered glasses. You've got to be able to see the ways in which the university is less than what it could be and then work to improve it. Das ganze Gespräch mit Shirley Tilgman finden Sie auf ohm.com und dem YouTube-Channel von Ohm.